In part 14 of today's F1 23 My Team Career Mode here in Season 2, we go to Portugal for the Portimao Grand Prix and I'm super excited for it. It is my favourite track to drive on the F1 calendar out of all of them and like I said at the end of last episode, I do wish they kept it on the real F1 calendar as we start our first lap in Q3. The only issue is I've never ever driven this track before on F123. I drove it in F122 and I really enjoyed it but on F123 I may have driven it once or twice but other than that not much practice at all so this qualifying is my first attempt at this circuit. Q1 and Q2 though were still quite simple as we start our first lap in Q3 and hopefully our only lap because we have really been hooked up around here for Q2. We set a 117.6 which I thought was a good lap but we still managed to get us through in about P8 I believe. So very solid as we are purple in the first sector here in Portugal. Piastri also making it to Q3 with us. Fernando Alonso as you see going top of the session. They're then Stroll usurping him with a 117.6 five nine our target is around those laps as we go for this double right hander and then down and then right back up again i love the elevation changes in portugal especially that is why i like it so much it's like lots of mini eau rouges to radions but here we go then round the final corner here in Portimao up to the line you want to take it really close to the curb but you don't want to go too wide because that could cost you time if you go into the gravel or if you go wide you could invalidate as well so we set a 116.606 and that is enough for P2 I was going for pole I did actually go out on another lap because I thought that was enough we were about four tenths ahead of everyone but Verstappen put a magical lap out of the bag there and put it Onto pole position. George Russell P3, Leclerc P4, Ocon 5th, Stroll 6th, Piastri 7th, both McLarens 7th and 8th, and 8th and 9th, and Hulkenberg in P10. In terms of the strategy, because we've already won the championship, for every race to until from, from now to the end of the season, I will be doing something different. And this time, it's going to be a two-stopper race. We're going to do a two-stop and try and beat everyone around us on the one-stop. So we're starting on the softs. We're going to go to the mediums and then box back again to the softs. Verstappen ahead of us, starting on the mediums just like he did in Brazil. Russell on the hards. Russell obviously winning last time in Brazil. And Verstappen was on pole last time in Brazil. Russell will want to recreate something like that as we go to five red lights for the Portuguese Grand Prix here in Portimao. It's a long run to the line. It's lights out and away we go. We don't get the best of starts. And Russell actually could overtake us, but no, we cover him off. Do we? Yes, we do. As we head towards turn one, Russell tries to round the outside, but we're having none of it. But Verstappen has got away excellently and he's up and he's stay, still got P1 despite on those medium tyres. But we'll be wanting to overtake him as quickly as possible. And as Russell is under pressure from Fernando Alonso, as we now begin to pressurise Verstappen. Hopefully, the move will come soon as we need to pull away. There's a yellow flag behind. I believe that's just the Constantina effect. As now we head into this right-hander up this little hill before down. And now, lap two this is. We are all over the back of Verstappen. He's done a mega job of defending so far. We've been sort of been pushing him through the corners. I thought about a big dive around the outside, but now we get a much better exit. And now, can we go down the inside, around the outside of Max Verstappen? No, not quite. He defends well, but now can we maybe switch it to the inside for this corner? Verstappen blocks that off as well. As we now get a much better exit, we go a bit wider, and now Verstappen is surely going to be overtaken here by us. We've got slipstream, we've got ERS, we. We gain on Verstappen. We gain on Verstappen. As we cross the start finish straight, we are going to take the lead of the race with a new fastest lap of 119.1. Better than Verstappen's lap. It's DRS now are labelled. We're going wheel to wheel and under braking. We are going to overtake Verstappen and up into P1. As Logan Sargent is slowing on the straight as well. So Sargent, I believe he's out. That's why the yellow flag's out. Yet yeah, Sargent is out. So lap three, that Aston engine did not last long at all and now it's lap 
eight, and this is the first of our two stops. We broke the DRS to Verstappen quite comfortably, but it's come back at us in the past couple laps. So this is the trigger for us to pit for the first time on these medium, off these soft tyres and onto the medium tyres. We're going to need to come out. We're probably going to come out last, but hopefully we can make up the time with them because we will be leading the race once again because we'll be doing a massive undercut on those ahead before pitting again onto the soft compound tyres at the end. 2.3 second stop, very good as Joe overtakes us and we're down in P21 as we come out of the pit lane. And now we've got five second gap to Joe and we are on medium tyres which are much fresher than those old soft tyres and on lap 10 others are pitting, Norris is pitting, Russell's already pit, others are pit. We are now in P14 and we are looking to overtake Joe for P13 down the inside, massive dive bomb and up into P13 and now Kevin Magnussen in the Haas is up ahead. We need to overtake him as well as quickly as possible because otherwise we, will be be we are being held up by the slower cars on slower tyres is maybe now this is what I wanted to do on Verstappen we're going to go down the inside of Kevin Magnussen and up into P12 and now Alexander Albon up ahead does he have the DRS of Felipe Drogovic who's doing quite well in P10 at the moment but obviously he hasn't pit yet I don't believe Albon does have the DRS but we are so we are going to gain we are going to gain Drogovic pits on at lap 11 starting lap 12 and we are going to overtake Alexander Albon and move up into P5 with Valtteri Bottas and Daniel Ricciardo up ahead who both pit just as we caught up to them as did Liam Lawson as now lap 14 the Stappen pits we've stretched out an eight second gap to Fernando Alonso who's also pit but obviously about five laps after us so he will be gaining on us now as Verstappen pits and going onto the hard compound tyres as we take the lead of the race. But obviously we still have another pit stop to make. As now lap 16 it is the time when we are going to be pitting off these medium tyres which have worked incredibly well to us in all fairness. Those last couple of laps are a bit iffy because of obviously they're a lot older and Londo did catch up two seconds to us. But we were pushing like hell on that stint and we're going to have to probably do that again here because we're probably going to come out around I'd say P15, P14, P15 so we're going to need to push on this stint as well as much as possible as we exit the pit lane. Are we going to be ahead of Valtteri Bottas? That's the target That's the target gap I was aiming for. Are we? Yes we are just ahead of Bottas. He tries to go around the outside. Can he do it? No. We can stay ahead of Bottas. We get a warning for a collision. I'm not sure if he's got damage or anything, I hope he hasn't because that probably would be my fault coming out of the pillar. But we are, we are in P12. And now Pierre Gasly up ahead of us. We're going to go for a massive lunge down the inside of Pierre Gasly. And that shows the grip we've got compared to the others around us. We are on fresh, soft compound tyres compared to those worn medium tyres up ahead. And you can see the difference visually as we go overtake Hulkenberg before we even need to enable the DRS. Incredible move from us. And we set a new fastest lap, a 1.17.543, which I believe was faster than our Q2 time. So we've clearly learned a lot around this track as we go down the inside of Charles Leclerc. Goes for a little switch back on us. But no, once again, the grip proving to be the king here around Portugal and we are much faster than everyone ahead of us as we now are on lap 20 as we are looking to overtake Paris but you'll notice in the bottom right we are actually down on fuel we're 0.18 laps down on fuel we under fueled the car because we finished on race with too much fuel we go down the inside of Sergio Perez just like on we did on Leclerc so we had a choice to go for it and try and overtake Piastri and Sainz or try and just conserve you and be happy with what we've got. And this wouldn't be a race to glory video without going for it. So we are going to overtake um, Carlos Sides into turn one and up into P7. And now we on this is the last lap, by the way. So all to play for. We are 1.1 seconds behind Piastri. But, and I don't think we've got all oh, we do have the DRS. We've just snuck in to the DRS of Oscar Piastri. And that could be huge because now instead of being a second back at the end of the straight, we are actually only seven tenths behind. So now that could be incredibly crucial. A couple more laps, we might have been able to get Ocon as well. But 
as we come up to the final sector, finish sector two here. Piastri, you are all over the back of him. We've still got much better grip. No team orders though today. I would ask Piastri to go uh, get out of the way, but instead we're going to go down the inside into the double right hander, into the hairpin, and up into P6. What a move from us! And now you see me lifting off as much as I can because we are one point minus 0.3 down on fuel. So now we come around the final corner. We are going to take P6, but we are now in low fuel mode. So we are only going 160 miles per hour compared to Piastri. He's probably 180. He's got the DRS as well. And he gains. He gains. Piastri going to overtake us. I genuinely have no idea who's got it yet. P6. Okay, we do keep the position on Piastri. But that must have been so close. Wow. P6. And I think that was 0 .0, 0 0.002 seconds between us and Piastri at the line. So, an incredible photo finish. But Fernando Alonso is back to winning ways in the McLaren. So then it's P6 for us by 0.002 seconds. So incredibly close with Piastri. I expect that will be the thumbnail for the video. But it's Fernando Alonso. He leads his former teammate Lance Stroll to 1 2. Stroll would never be up there in real life. That is incredibly unrealistic. But it's George Russell who takes P3 and lowers it to 78 points. The gap to Ferrari. Now 72 points, so we do extend that, and I believe we are on the cusp of winning the constructors as well. Ferrari not really been very race, very pacey in the race for the past couple races, so Red Bull could overtake him, but Verstappen is at the moment single-handedly carrying Red Bull. So we go back to the factory. And what a weekend of F1 we had there then, and next time it is an even better better race if you haven't checked out last year's race in las vegas and the one in my rtg with ferrari with uh, alpha tari make sure to check that out because those were possibly the most exhilarating two races i've ever experienced on this game so make sure to check those out see you guys next time for the one and only inaugural las vegas grand prix make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it like the video if you enjoyed i'll see you guys there Goodbye.